Connecting your VTech cordless phone to a traditional phone line is straightforward. Simply plug the telephone line cord from your phone's base station into a standard telephone wall jack. If you have DSL internet service, it's crucial to use a DSL filter between the phone line and wall jack. This prevents interference and ensures clear call quality by separating voice and data signals. For voice over internet protocol or VoIP setups, which are increasingly common, you'll typically need an analog telephone adapter, or ATA. This device converts the analog signal from your phone into a digital signal that can be transmitted over the internet. Some routers have a built-in voice line port. If your router has this feature, you can connect the VTEC base station directly to it using a standard phone cable, eliminating the need for a separate ATA device. For proper operation, ensure the base station is connected to a working electrical outlet, preferably one not controlled by a wall switch to maintain continuous operation. Install the battery in the handset with correct polarity and charge it for at least 16 hours initially for optimal battery performance. For Spectrum VoIP service, the connection process is straightforward. You'll connect your VTEC phone base directly to the RJ11 jack on your Spectrum modem. For advanced VoIP configurations, especially with VTEC IP phones like the VSP series, you can configure settings through a web-based interface. This includes models like VSP715, VSP725, VSP735, and VSP600. In multi-handset systems, each handset needs to be registered to the base station. This process involves pressing the handset locator button on the base and following the on-screen instructions on the handset. If you encounter issues like no dial tone or poor sound quality, try resetting the VoIP box. Additionally, the location of your base station significantly affects performance.